What is up, everyone? It has been a while, but as you know, I started inpatient. If you saw my last vlog, if you haven't, it's around here. Um, the inpatient rotations have been really intense. I'm working like at least 12 hours a day, if not more. And you're admitting patients, you're taking care of the patients you admitted days prior, you are trying to do sign out, you are trying to manage um, a lot of care with a lot of impressive consultants. And I want to describe a bit more of this first rotation because it honestly has been like just so intense. But at the same time, it's also really hard to describe because sometimes people ask like, how are you there for as long as you're there? And I really can't put into words why that takes so long. Like I'm trying to elaborate. I'm like, we're taking care of patients, but what does that mean? How are we coordinating all of these things? So that's what I'm hoping to tell you a bit more about in this vlog. And it's actually one of my days off, which is why I may have time to do this, edit it and put it out for all of you. So this is my first reflection on some of the most brutal things that I've seen um, and some realities of residency. Hope you find it useful. But before that, let's actually take care of some housekeeping, which is the fact I have moved into my new apartment, which is great. I have also gotten a bunch of furniture, getting things set up, including look at these lovely posters on my back. Um, it, that's, that's another challenge in and of its own, which is like managing life outside of the hospital because you're at the hospital. It's around 12 hours a day, but then you come home and you still have to do like basic life things, which is like set up your place, uh, make your bed, make sure you have like laundry going. And so that in and of itself has been a new challenge. Um, and I have worked two weeks of big inpatient stuff. Today's my day off and I start another four weeks of inpatient tomorrow on another rotation. Um, and so it's been a lot. But luckily, my room is done, and I want to give you guys all a room tour later. So if you're interested in that, let me know, because I do have these amazing things on my wall and also a pretty impressively optimized workstation that I'm pretty pumped about. So I'd love to share that. Oh, and also maybe I'll vlog, but also share insights into residency as I do that throughout today. So oh, this is very fitting. Even though it's my day off, I still am just so behind. I just spent like a bit of time orienting myself to the next rotation. There are documents to know the way things will flow. I also spent a bunch of time uh, actually going and like catching up on emails because I haven't read them in like such a long time. And I spent a bit of time cleaning my room, which may not look like it if you looked at my room right now, so I'm not going to show you. But I will show you this brand new living room. Look at this. This is my living room. I hope to give you a more in-depth tour of that very soon. But right now I have a small 30-minute gap. I'm going to go for a run, maybe two miles, come back shower really quick and then um i have a meeting at 6 30 believe it or not um it's a fun meeting though it's a friend meeting it's not like a formal meeting um so yeah just trying to squeeze things in where i can i haven't run in literally two weeks and if you know me you know that is just not who i am i, I need to run it's definitely a big part of my life so i'm gonna try to keep doing that all right i got in two and a half miles about 20 minutes now we're gonna go to the meeting. It starts in four minutes for some friend stuff and then prep for the rotation tomorrow. Just literally finding small places to sneak in, even like the smallest activities, man. It's really pushing me thin here. I don't think I've ever felt this scattered, but it's what happens when you start something new and you're not quite that good at it yet. So, meeting, shower, on to the next thing. You know that things are crazy when you try to vlog your day off and it just ends up being the next day instead. That's how busy yesterday was for me, even though it was like a day off. Like I finished that run that you all saw. After that, I had the meeting, which finished a bit late. And by that time, it was already like eight. And that was a meeting with friends. So obviously it was a fun meeting. But by that time that finished, it was eight. I was starting a new rotation today. And so I then called the intern who is in charge of the patients I'm taking over for. We talked for about 30 minutes. I got some insight into her patients. And then from like nine to like almost 11, I had to read up on those patients, make sure I knew what was going on because I present those patients today. And so I started the rotation today. I had to know all the patients, know what was going on. So yesterday at 11, I'm like poop. I don't think that's unusual. Uh, I'm definitely maybe a little bit more behind the curve, primarily because I haven't done medicine in a while. But all that to say, like, kind of shows you why residency is such an integral part of your training because you never really turn the medicine off. Like even on your days off, one day a week, inpatient specifically, you're almost always going. Like you're always thinking, what are the next steps? Well, how do I prep for tomorrow? What do I need to do? 
Um, and usually you always have help. That's the beauty. Like even today, it was a brand new rotation. I was overwhelmed. But the seniors are always there to help you. But at the same time, you're the primary caretaker, right? So you should really own that responsibility. And that comes with a certain level of investment of your time and effort and just getting used to the system. All that to say, today was another you know, tiring day. I woke up this morning exhausted, uh, finishing this today, also exhausted, but kind of happy because I feel like every day you come home feeling a little bit better at your job than you did previously. That's not to say the day will be good. You might have really crappy days, but you always can take something away is kind of what I'm feeling. Maybe I'll feel differently in four weeks because I have this four week rotation where I'm gonna be impatient. So now I'm gonna go home after today, unwind a bit, get ready for tomorrow, grind don't stop. Home, uh, a lot going on today because I got home, luckily a little bit early, I actually have time to do errands. So for example, we have this table right there that we're gonna assemble. I just did the dishes. Um, I actually got a chance to catch up like reading emails and whatnot. And honestly, I will never get tired of this view. We're like really high up. So we have really high ceilings and just an incredible place to sit, work, relax, all of those great things. You all may be wondering who this guy is. This is Steph Curry, my biggest boy. I'm like his biggest fan, man. So I have a life side poster of him like on my wall. I know it's nerdy and makes me seem like I'm 10 years old, but that's just the way things go when you're that big of a fan. I honestly like would love to be this guy's physician one day. <laughs> So may as well show you my boy Steph one last time here. So, but I actually spent the last like hour or two just kind of catching up on my patients because when you start a new service, I think it's like one of the riskiest times for patient care because you go from someone who knows the patients really well because they've been on that rotation for a long time to you who's coming on, who may not know that patient that well, may not know what's going on. And it's almost like, for example, when if you've ever tried to like take over any job from someone who's been doing it for a really long time, it's really overwhelming for that first week. And that's kind of what I feel like right now because you kind of have to get caught up on like everything about the patient. Are they anticoagulated? What procedures do they have? What consults do they have? Who do we have to keep talking to? Who do we not talk to? Who have we already talked to? A lot of moving parts. All that to say... You know, I, I actually got in a bit of good due diligence. Um, and sometimes a lot of this can be a very fun. Um, other times, if you're exhausted, it can be really tedious. But luckily, I got a nap in today. So that's kind of how that is. Um, so I think I'm going to end the vlog here because it is a very intense inpatient rotation. And I kind of just wanted to vlog my day off. And I didn't even get to do that because it was so busy. But hopefully you got a gist to see like the day off but also a little bit of like inpatient life. And then I'm gonna to try to make a video in the future, kind of just outlining just how intense residency can be and just why it is. So if you enjoyed this, drop a like, please comment, let me know uh, what kind of stuff you wanna see. And otherwise share with other people, it means a lot to me. Me and my homeboy, Steph, if I can get big enough that Steph recognizes me and I can then be his doctor, I would be so, so damn happy. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you all for watching. See you all very soon. Stay safe, stay healthy. Try to take care of yourselves and someone else too if you can. Peace. Peace.